Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to a brand new video and take a look at all our new dinosaurs today it is going to be a massive unboxing okay first let's take a look at this new Cam Cretaceous Silarus, okay? So this is actually a brand new 2021 release of a repainted Silarus. So let's open this up and have a look. All right, so I actually got this from Amazon. Yep, that's right. Of course, it is actually not available in my country right now. So you can take a look at this Silarus. We will do a comparison with uh, the older one later on. Okay, Silarus means hollow tail. So the bones inside its tail is actually hollow. So take a look at you know this repainted version. I think it looks pretty cool. I actually prefer the older version uh, more. So you can see there's a nice blue patterns across the entire top of its head and really nice brown patterns across the body. Okay, so this is our very first one. Let's take a look at this new Pro Ceratosaurus, which means the lizard before Ceratosaurus. The name means the lizard before Ceratosaurus. This is also a new Cam Cretaceous figure, which is, you know, another repaint. So I think you guys should have seen this before, okay? Oh yes, I should let you guys scan the code in a Jurassic World Facts app. So if you guys want to scan, you can just pause the video. I'm not too sure whether you are able to get it. Probably. So let's take a look at this. Our new Pro Ceratosaurus right over here. So you can see, this time they've actually opted for a navy blue color scheme with some orange splash of paint across their face. Looks pretty good, okay? So this looks really good. Okay, next up, as you guys can see, we have plenty of other figures as well, as well as this new Velociraptor or um, uh, Echo from the Amber collection, okay? So, but first, I'm gonna show you guys this Mosasaurus right here. So this is actually a pretty old Mosasaurus, but you know, let's just release it from his cage, okay? So let's get it out. Oh, I'm trying my best to cut this loose, it's not easy. There you go. So you can see this is a um, little figure of a Mosasaurus. It looks really adorable. Not too sure how you can actually operate this. Little dino big bite. Okay, so this is basically a mini chomper Spinosaurus. Okay, so take a look at this. Um, so yeah, once you press the two flippers together, the jaw will actually snap and the tail will move along as well. Looks really cute. We have a chomper T-Rex right as uh, right behind but take a look at this mistake so i've actually purchased three of them you know one is actually dilophosaurus but they actually sent me another mosasaurus so we have two mosasaurus looks really cute so let's put this away okay next up let's take a look at this amber collection velociraptor echo so i'm not too sure whether it's gonna take us a long time to actually unbox this but i'll just show you guys right from its box so this is the one I have been lacking. So I finally got the new Amber Collection Echo. You can see plenty of other um, Amber Collection figures right behind. We have like um, Charlie right over here. So you can do a comparison. So every single of this Amber Collection Velociraptors actually come with this little head gear. So it's really, really cool. Next up, I've actually got some of this from um, Toys R Us, so I'm trying to... Let's open this up and see whether this is actually from a new series, which I don't think so. So let's open this up and have a look. Wow, we've got the Suko Mimers, so you can see this is actually from the older series. This is the Suko Mimers from Wave 1, I think. Yes, so that's not really a uh, new figure, okay? So this is the previous Silarus, so you can do a comparison of the new one. So you can see, I actually prefer this one much more. I'm not too sure, what about you guys? Yeah. All right, next up, we have a new, okay, not exactly new, but this is actually a basic figure of a Pteranodon, which I don't have, okay? This color scheme is actually a new color scheme. So we will do a comparison with, um, the older one later on okay so let's open this up so i think this is one of the videos which we have like the most new figures to unbox so let's 
put this, let's put the wings together. Just put them right in. You know, it can be done very easily. Okay. Snap it right in. There you go. We have a green colored version to Ranadon, okay? Right over here. This is the brown color version, so we can do a comparison. The green color version definitely doesn't look as realistic as the brown one, but it looks pretty good. Very vibrant and very colorful. So this would definitely stand out more uh, than this bot, than this pteranodon. And you know, this color actually goes with the color behind. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys this. You know, more Pro Ceratosaurus right over here. So I think they have actually come out with at least four to five different Pro Ceratosaurus. This is the latest one, as you can see. There's an orange version, there's a red version, there's a dark brown version. Which version do you guys think is the best? I think this one definitely looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, let's dig right in. I'm gonna show you guys more figures. I have plenty of prehistoric animals right inside this box. I need the help of you guys. I don't remember what is the name of this. Is this like Machyroceratops? I'm not too sure. This figure is actually from PNSO, okay? So we have brought plenty of all these attack pack figures, but you guys can see there is actually a new um, Cam Cretaceous Snap Squad Bumpy. Yep, so I'm gonna show you guys the previous one, which is right behind. Okay, where is our Bumpy? We have the shiny version right over here. Okay, right over here, so you can you can see this is a shiny version and this is the matte finished version, okay? So let's release Bumpy from its cage. Okay, be really careful not to scratch the surface of a Bumpy. Okay, there you go. So, Snap Squad figures are basically little figures which you can just, you know, press the back of his head to open up his jaw, you can actually snap it onto your shirt or your bag. Okay, it's definitely not that secure. So which version do you think looks better? Um, I actually quite like the matte colored version, but I'm a huge fan of a shiny metallic paint. Yeah, I think you guys should know that. All right, next up. Yes, I've brought this Tyrannosaurus Rex cars. I'm letting you guys know I am repainting a new T-Rex into a not a level 40 T-Rex so you guys stay tuned it should be ready by next Wednesday so stay tuned for my next um, repaint okay Spinosaurus I don't think we will be repainting any Spinosaurus soon but we definitely have this new one okay, this is actually a um, pretty rare extreme chomping Spinosaurus this is from 2021 so this is from uh, a few, a couple of years back. This is also pretty rare, but this one was pretty hard to find for me. So I've actually got it, get it from eBay, which cost me a lot more than its uh, standard price. Okay, yep. And this is a new Indoraptor from Imagine Next. Pretty cute, pretty fun, pretty adorable, and pretty nicely done. I got this very recently from a local seller, so I got this at a reasonable price. Yes, the strike. I got this from an um, e-commerce store. So I think we have to release it. So this is basically Rexy. So let's see whether we are able to get it up from its um, cage. Wow, it seems tough to release him. I'm gonna try my best to cut it loose from here. I think it's gonna be hard. And I really love the packaging because you can see the strings um, definitely resembles a um, the cage. Okay, it's hard for me to get it out right now, so I guess we will have to get it out after the video. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, this is actually the base of the Amber Collection. Well, speaking of Amber Collection dinosaurs, they are coming with new series of Amber Collection figures. Okay, many of them. Okay, let's open this up. Let's open this up. This it's a new Jurassic World. Okay, not exactly new. It's unopened. It's 
definitely not a um, new series. So let's see. Oh, we've got the Stegosaurus from Wave 1. We have plenty of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up, let's go into... Let's go deep into our box. So check this out, guys. Do you guys know what type of dinosaur this is? This is actually not a Sticky Moloch. This is actually a Dracorax from um, Schleich, okay? So more Amber Collection figures. This is actually blue from the Amber Collection. So right now, we have the complete set of the four raptors, you know, Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Right over here, we have a pretty, you know, rare species. You know, we don't really have many of these figures. It's actually known as a Cytocosaurus. Cytocosaurus is known as the parrot face, because if, if you can see, the face actually resembles a parrot. Okay, next up, we have um, the Amber Collection, the Lophosaurus. You can check this out. What is this? What prehistoric animal is this? I cannot remember the name, but you know, fortunately, there's a name written right below. You can see it is known as Uintathirium. Uintathirium is a prehistoric animal. It reminds me of a rhinoceros. If you take a look at its face. Okay, we have the Indominus Rex right over here. I can't wait to pin another Indominus Rex. Should we? Guys, please let me know. I've actually a spare Indominus Rex. Grab my ground Dominus Rex, and I'm thinking of painting it into a very creepy looking, you know, purplish black Dominus Rex. I think this is going to be really cool. And speaking of Indominus Rex, do you guys know the Scorpius Rex will be coming out really soon? This is a new hybrid dinosaur which I think um, will be presented in the new series of Cam Cretaceous. So stay tuned for that, okay? So this is the basic figure of the Pteranodon which we have just purchased. And check this out, if you do not know, basic figures are actually this, you know, cheaper versions with you know, less articulation and less detail, but they're pretty cool as well. So this is blue with the Proceratosaurus basic figure right over here. This is the light colored version. We have the red version right here as well. So you can see the jaws, the jaws are actually not movable. Okay, more prehistoric animals right over here. And what is this? Is this another Uintathirium? Uh, I am not too sure. Yes, probably so. Yeah, so you can see this is how it looks like, you know, from a different point of view, from a different uh, manufacturer. And recently, I think last week, we have just purchased this really, really cool looking vintage Jurassic Park. Panistrophius, okay? This is actually a prehistoric um, creature and it's, it's not exactly super long, I think it's about 6 meters long and the name actually means hinged lizard, okay? Pretty cool species, go check it out, Panistrophius, okay? And this is another prehistoric animal which you guys may not know that well as compared to the Dimetrodon. It is closely related to the Dimetrodon. This is actually known as the Adiphosaurus, okay? It, the name means um, pavement lizard because of you know the pavement teeth that it has. It's a kind of a teeth, so I'm not too sure, I'm not really a dentist, but it is nicknamed pavement teeth. Not nicknamed, the name means pavement teeth and it's related to you know the different rows of teeth inside its jaw, inside its mouth. Gessosaurus, I can't remember what is the name, what does the name mean for this dinosaur, okay? So this is Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon, which is um, you know a very famous prehistoric cynocyte, which you guys should know, and this is Adiphosaurus. They look very, very similar, but the shape of the sail, this, is, this thing right here is the sail, they are very different, okay? Next up, we have a hybrid dinosaur, okay, which is not exactly a real dinosaur. This is actually part Spinosaurus, uh, no, part Velociraptor and part Archaeopteryx. It is a vintage Jurassic Park figure, okay? It's not a bootleg, it looks like a bootleg, but this is actually a Jurassic Park official figure. So it, this is known as the Velo Velociraptorix. Velociraptor mixed with Archaeopteryx. Very cool, you can see. The, the, the wings can move and the neck will move along as well. Very cool figure. Okay. Oh yes, Atlasaurus. I'm supposed to look up what does the name means, okay? So this is a 
beautiful sauropod. This is a figure from um, Eofauna. Really, really nice figure. I purchased this myself. I really love sauropods. I love huge dinosaurs and I love collecting sauropods. And this is Atlasaurus, is my one and only Atlasaurus. It, it looks really nice. I really love it. Okay, more basic figures right over here, Spinosaurus, which is known as the Spine Lizard. You know, at this basic figures, they have articulation on the mouth. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Another sauropod, which I can't really tell the name by looking at the figure, because I can't remember, but let's take a look. Um, Sethiosaurus, yes, another sauropod, so you can see it is, it looks like an Apatosaurus. And speaking of Apatosaurus, I just can't wait for the new legacy collection of Petasaurus. Yes, it is coming out. It is as huge as the Brachiosaurus. I can't wait to find it. I'm trying my best to get one. This is actually Fairy Zenosaurus. And hopefully Mattel can also come up with a um, Fairy Zenosaurus because I don't think there's one in a Jurassic Park franchise. If there is, it's going to be super cool with a Velociraptor. So I've basically grabbed a bunch of them. Um, this attack pack figures to do comparison with the new ones. This is a Savage Strike. I really love Savage Strike um, figures because they have so much playability. Yes, they look they look more polished. I think. What is this? Is this Parser Supers? I can't really remember. And I'm supposed to like uh, you know reorganize my uh, my shelf of little figures. So I've just got them all out to show you guys. Okay. Um. Yes, today video we're gonna feature a lot of Bumpy. So this is Bumpy from McDonald's Toys R Us. This this was available in Singapore as well as many Asian countries. So there are lots more, lots more of um, different um, figures from you know McDonald's Happy Meal. But you know in Singapore there's like only four of them. This is Onifto Lesties. Okay, really nice figure. The jaw is really small, but it is still movable with the Lophosaurus right here, the very first wave. One more prehistoric animal, which this should be Andrew Sucker, which is a prehistoric pig, I think. Yes, it looks like a dog, but it's actually closely related to a modern day pig. Herrerasaurus, which is known as the Herreras Lizard. This figure is from Schleich. And this is a quadrupedal, you know, walking on four legs Spinosaurus from Schleck as well. Very pretty nice. Schleck is actually famous for creating nice um, herbivores, which is one of this, like this. They are good at creating herbivores, but their carnivores always look very cartoonish. The spike lizard right here, okay. With an ample collection stand right here. Oh yes, guys, I, I need to unbox this to show you guys. You might have been waiting for this. This is from Dino Rider. So if you guys do not know, Dino Rider is actually a very, very old series. But this is actually a um, 2021 set. So let's take a look at this. So it comes with various figures inside. So I think this could be an Apatosaurus. Let's take a look. Or oh, this the plot, Chris. Sorrow Loafers, I'm not too sure. And with a T-Rex right here, as you can see, a very nice T-Rex. So some soldiers. We have a pterodactyl over here. We have a Parasaurolophus. We have many little human figures. So and um, this one should be a Triceratops. Yeah. So very cool. What is this? Is this a Velociraptor? Um, no, this is actually a Deinonychus. So if you take a look at the box, it says Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, Pterodactyl. Sorrow Loafers and Deinonychus. Yeah, it looks really nice. This is a nice set to have. Because Dino Riders, they are actually very fantastic. I've actually only one of them. I have one Ankylosaurus. Mm -hmm. That's all. RC Noyo Fever, one of my most favorite prehistoric animals because I think it looks super amazing. It looks super cool. I love these two huge spikes. Uh, if this creature is still around right now, I think it's gonna cause serious damage, okay? There's two really strong and huge spikes which can be used as a defensive weapon. Um, Monolophosaurus right here, one of my um, favorite Monolophosaurus figures from the Savage Strike series. This is the new Camp Cretaceous series, okay? So we have plenty of Camp Cretaceous figures. 
And all these are also from Camp Cretaceous, the shiny, shiny Carnotaurus and shiny Mosasaurus. And if you see, which one do you guys prefer more? This is actually Carnotaurus Toro. It has this scar on the right side of its snout. Yeah, which was caused uh, by uh, the cage, I think. Yeah, because Kenji and Darius were like trying to escape from it. Baryonyx from Schleich is still as a tag. I got this pretty recently, okay? Next up, we have Anzu, which is like a prehistoric, but it always reminds me of a modern day emu or ostrich. Yes, I think they are closely related. And if you take a look at this, this is also another um, uh, basic figure. This is a door raptor. No articulation on the jaw, but I really love this figure. I can, you can see it is a nice yellow splash of paint across. Um, the middle part of his body and it slowly turns into the bronze portion right here so fantastic detailing done and check this out guys this is a figure I got from um, uh, one of the locals, local e-commerce store and this is like a bootleg indoor raptor but I thought it looks kind of interesting so I got it but it kind of looks terrible when it comes to the sculpt and the detailing but you know still a nice figure to show you guys Okay, this one actually looks a little bit like Echo, but this is actually a um, generic Velociraptor from the Jurassic Park. Yep, that's right. So what is this? Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful Stegosaur. This is actually known as a Mirror Gaia. The name actually means beautiful Earth Goddess. Yes, just take a look at how beautiful all the bony plates are not really exactly bony plates, they look like they look, look more like spikes and um, scales. Just amazing. This figure just looks amazing. And it kind of reminds me of a modern day pangolin. You know pangolins, they're actually endangered, they're covered with scales. Um, very beautiful creatures. I've never seen one in real life before. So this is a, another Mololophosaurus. Um Oh my goodness, what type of Ceratopsian is this? Is this Diablo Ceratops? I can't remember, I need the help of you guys. Okay, next up, let's take a look. We have Trodon right here. Okay, this is a Trodon from, uh, I think this was from Ham Cretaceous as well. Okay, and more slight prehistoric figures, Dunkalosis. So this fish right here, it's, it looks very terrifying to me. Just check out this huge teeth right in front. This is actually like a um, fossilized fish. It is covered with armor, so it's very well protected. It's very huge. I think it's bigger than a shark. It looks absolutely terrifying. I wouldn't want to swim with it in, in the sea. Right here with the Quetzalcoatlus, which is a really huge prehistoric flying reptile. I think it is as big as an airplane or even bigger than an airplane. Really, really huge prehistoric flying reptile. Quetzalcoatlus is actually known as, um, oh my goodness, it's related to Greek, but I can't really, really remember. We have a Stegosaurus right here, which needs no introduction. This is a figure from Schleich. I'm pretty sure you guys know, you know Stegosaurus really well. This was the first, one of my very first Mattel figures. This is actually a Mono Lovisaurus. Young Legacy Collection T-Rex right here, which needs no introduction with a baby Stegosaurus. Looks so pretty, so cute, so adorable. We have an Alien Ramus, which is known as a different branch. This is actually a Tyrannosaur as well. It has two fingers, similarly to the T-Rex. What is this? This is actually Herrerasaurus, a battle damage Herrerasaurus. Looks really nice, okay? Next up, what is this? This is also Herrerasaurus. Also battle damage Herrerasaurus, but it is in a different paint scheme. Okay, let's go. And what is this? This is actually a Dilophosaurus basic figure, but this I think is one of the better ones because it is additional articulation so the frill is able to move it's able to fold backwards fold inwards and you're able to fold it back you know to show that it is actually 
agitated, it is actually being provoked. So this is the way, you know, it opens up its grill to show that it is actually provoked. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a vintage baryonyx right here. Okay. Okay, we have this Dilophosaurus, which is one of its kind. This is the only one which uh, with water function, so you can actually dip this into water, crash the valley, and just put out water in a very nice, fine stream. Yep, that's right. We have a shiny Triceratops from Amputatious. This is really nice because instead of having this little knob for you to press it, you are just pressing the frill, this crest behind. This looks like a Stegosaurus, but this is actually a Cantrosaurus, which is known as the Spike Lizard. This is also from Schleich. A pretty cool figure. Fossil I really hope Mattel can do a repaint of this and maybe come up with a huge one. A huge figure, you know, which is similar size to the um, uh, Sarcosuchus. I think that would be really good. Microceratus. Yes, this is like the only Microceratus that I have and it is in such a small size and this is from Mattel as well you know why don't Mattel just come up with a huge Microceratus that will be really really awesome these two are you know uh, baby and Calosaurus of uh, Bumpy the new Dilophosaurus with a different paint scheme I really love this paint scheme I think it looks more realistic another Young Legacy collection um, T-Rex and take a look at this micro T-Rex looks so cute too cute okay I'm gonna turn the box over to reach out to you know this prehistoric animals behind oops the logo is it's fallen okay we have a T-Rex from Recur okay yeah this is a pretty nice figure it still has a hack right on Malawi Malawi what is this oh no this is actually uh Wow, I can't really tell the name. Macrochenia. Yeah, this is actually a prehistoric um, animal. I think this could be like closely related to a um, giraffe or a horse. Also, from the look of, look of it, definitely looks very, very cool. Looks like a very cool animal. Next up, um, is this Arsinoetherium? No, this is Megasaurops. Megasaurops. Yeah. This is definitely related to uh, modern day rhinoceros. Okay, what is this? This is a Crylophosaurus, but I think uh, the body of this looks really weird. The whole neck right here looks really weird, but this is a very nice and vibrant color. I love the color scheme, but I don't really like uh, the sculpt. Ramphorhynchus! Yes, Ramphorhynchus is actually this very, very unique teeth. This is a really unique teeth. So this is actually known as the big tooth, okay, because of the teeth which are pointing outwards. The Dinochirus right over here, which could be an omnivore, I think. I'm not too sure, I can't really remember, but I think it could be an omnivore. We have a prehistoric animal right here, which is a... Uh, what is this? Let's take a look. This is an Andrew Suckers, it could be. With the Indominus Rex and... um. Matrio Cantosaurus right here. This is a beautiful Triceratops from Schleich. You can see, really nice detail, really nice texture. And we have Delta, I think. I think they've got the, the colors wrong, but that's fine. Okay, Triceratops from Schleich. Very beautiful Triceratops. I really love the detailing done on all these short figures and we are close to our final figures right here Allosaurus from Schleich Herrerasaurus two of them in fact Mosasaurus and Indominus Rex I'm not too sure what collection video we should be doing next Probably Indominus Rex, probably Indoraptor, or you know, maybe Indoraptor versus Indominus Rex. I think it's gonna be really cool. Do you guys want to see that? I think, uh, you, I think you have already seen that, but maybe not. Maybe T Rex versus Spinosaurus. I think it'll be really cool. 
All right, thanks for watching this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. And um, yes, stay tuned for re next Wednesday video at the same time, uh, 8 a.m. EST. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video because it will be an epic repaint, okay? And after the repaint, I'll probably do like a house tour. Uh, I'm not sure, okay? So thanks for watching this. If you're not yet a Denisol, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button to become a Denisol, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.